Hey guys, it's Missy and welcome back to Books and a Baby. Today we are doing my November TBR and we are going to be playing Bookopoly, which I'm so excited about. Um, so the normal rules as in Becca's Bookopoly do apply. So if I roll doubles, I have to roll again um, and we will just go through the board and see what we get. So here's roll number one. So for roll number one, we got a library pick, and for this I am choosing Ever Since by Alina Bruzis, um, and I'm going to read you the synopsis. So it says, 17-year-old Virginia makes bad choices. In fact, she's that kind of girl, according to the whispers. But as long as she has her tight group of best friends by her side, she is able to ignore the gossipers until she finds herself spending time with Rumi, Poppy's boyfriend. Breaking with tradition, she doesn't hook up with Rumi. Worse, she falls in love with him. While Virginia and Rumi's relationship grows in secret, she discovers that his little sister, Lyra, is being groomed for abuse. The soon-to-be abuser is a respected member of the community, and only Virginia knows who he is and what he does. If she stays quiet, Lyra will become a victim, but coming forward feels equally impossible. Um, so this one sounds really good, um, and I've had it on my TBR for a while. This is also one that I am trying to read for my A to Z challenge on Storygraph, so I would love to get this one completed this month. Roll number two. So for roll number two, we got a pet pick, and for this, I will be inserting a clip here of my dog, Luna, picking me a book. Okay, let's see if Luna will come choose me a book. Open the door and let Luna in. Come here, Luna. Come pick a book. Look. Oh, that one. Okay. Okay, so she picked His and Hers by Alice Feeney. Um, and I am just going to read you guys the synopsis. So it says there are two sides to every story, yours and mine, ours and theirs, his and hers, which means someone is always lying. When a woman is murdered in Blackdown, a quintessentially British village, news reader Anna Andrews is reluctant to cover the case. Detective Jack Harper is suspicious of her involvement until he becomes a suspect in his own murder investigation investigation. Someone isn't telling the truth and some secrets are worth killing to keep. So this sounds like a really fun psychological thriller for the spookiest season. Um, of course, November is still fall and spooky feeling to me. So I'm going to be reading this one. Roll number 30. Okay, so for roll number three, we got a mood read. And for this, I'm going to be reading Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Now, this is the second book in a um, fantasy series called the Empyrean series. And I read Fourth Wing earlier this year. Bunches of people have read this book this year. And I found it so entertaining and so much fun. So this will be the second book. The way that the first book left off on this major cliffhanger, I just knew I had to have this book. Plus this is my in real life book club for the month of November. Um, but the first book is about our main character, Violet, who uh, is entering the school to become a dragon rider. And 
there are lots of tests and things that could possibly kill you but if you make it through you can become a dragon rider and the first book was so much fun and I cannot wait to continue this series. Roll number four. Okay, so for roll number four, we got a chance card and I will insert the wheel here, which picks Good Rich People by Eliza Jane Brazier. And this one says that Layla has always believed that life is a game she is destined to win, but her husband Graham takes the game to dangerous levels. The wealthy couple invites self-made success stories to live in their guest house and then conspires to ruin their lives. After all, there is nothing worse than a bootstrapper. Demi has always felt like the odds were stacked against her. At the end of her rope, she seizes a risky opportunity to take over another person's life and unwittingly becomes a subject of the upstairs couple's wicked entertainment. But Demi has been struggling forever and she's not about to go down without a fight. In a twist that neither woman sees coming, the game quickly dissolves into chaos and rockets toward an explosive conclusion. Because every good rich person knows, in money and in life, it's winner takes all, even if you have to leave a few bodies behind. Um, so this is another one that just sounds like a whole lot of fun. Um, this is actually a net galley arc that I have been meaning to get to, um, and I am very excited to read this one for this month. Okay, roll number five. So as you see, we got a double, which means we will be adding an extra roll. But for roll number five, we got a fantasy. And for this, I will be reading The Sword of Mercy and Wrath by N.C. Cusis. Um, this is one of the finalists in Cassidy's group for the SPFBO nine finalist. Um, so this was one of her finalist or semi-finalist in her group. Um, so I'm trying to read through as many of those as I can um, because it just seems like an interesting way to find some new self-published fantasy books. Um, so if you haven't heard of SPFBO, it is the science fiction and fantasy self-published science fiction and fantasy blog off um and this is hosted by mark lawrence and covers with cassidy here on youtube is one of the is one of the judges for this year's finalist um so she got a group of books and she had people underneath her read those books and then give her their semi-finalist and then she read all of the semi-finalists and then picked her finalist. So this is one of the semi-finalists from her group and I am very excited to pick this one up. Um, so this says, Celine wants revenge on, a were on the werewolves that destroyed her family and mutilated her body. When the secretive order of the golden sword offers her the chance, she lets go of her past to become a full fully fledged sword of the order. Her pain drives her to excel at hunting and killing the creatures, drawing the attention of the unnerving Lord Inquester. She's tasked with hunting her childhood love, Tristan. She must put her feelings aside and accept he's become a monster. But when she sees him for the first time in years, old feelings come rushing back and she uncovers the dark secret about the monster that the Order has kept hidden for centuries. Vengeance cuts a bloody path. Um, so this is one that I am very excited to pick up. Um, it sounds very female driven. Um, it just sounds really awesome. And I know that Mel from Melanor Reads and Cassidy both really enjoyed this book. So 
I'm very excited to get to this one in November. Roll number six. Okay, so for roll number six, we got a fantasy romance. And for this, I'm going to be picking up another one that I've heard all over the place on TikTok and YouTube. And that is going to be The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. Um, this is the first book in the Crowns of Nixia series. And this says, the adopted human daughter of the night-born vampire king, Oria, carved her place in a world designed to kill her. Her only chance to become something more than prey is entering the Kajari, a legendary tournament held by the goddess of death herself. But winning won't be easy. Amongst the most vicious warriors from all three vampire houses to survive, Oria is forced to make an alliance with a mysterious rival. Everything about Ran is dangerous. He is a ruthless vampire, an efficient killer, an enemy of her father's crown, and her greatest co competition. Yet what terrifies Oria most of all is that she finds herself oddly drawn to him. But there is no room for compassion in the Kajari war for the House of Night brews, shattering everything that or Oria or Oria thought she knew about her home and rain may understand her more than anyone, but their blossoming attraction could be her downfall in a kingdom where nothing is more deadly than love. So this sounds like a lot of fun. I have heard that this is another book for people who loved Fourth Wing. Um, so I'm excited to try this one out. Please leave a bat emoji down in the comments below. Um, and also let me know if you've read them because I would love to hear what you guys think of these books. Um, and also be on the lookout for videos that incorporate these throughout the month. Um, I'm very excited to get some of these read and to put out some really cool vlogs. So keep an eye out for that. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel grow. And hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can see when I post new videos. And with no further ado, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!